coming up next quickly before we get into that more revelations as to the perceptions of Ghanaians about government and governance issues as the Afrobarometer releases another survey and that we've got details for you and uh, reactions as well that clearly indicates one of, of worry which we're going to be getting into shortly here on Ghana tonight and it paints a picture that is consistent with a number of the other surveys that we have been looking at here on, on Ghana tonight and if you've been following us quite closely we spend some time getting into the sentiments and concerns of people especially with regards to the outcomes of for instance the global info analytics survey that captured the concerns of Ghanaians what would influence the the voting choices of the Ghanaian people and then we showed you that connection between the Afrobarometer survey and the NCC survey as well that captured education roads that's infrastructure the economy joblessness as one of the five major issues that would influence the decisions on who they're going to vote for but per the Afrobarometer survey details and the persons they surveyed these are the problems the fundamental concerns that they identified and it's consistent with what the NCC and, the, and also Global Info Analytics have been saying, and take a look at this. The first concern to the persons who were surveyed by the Afrobarometer, the major issue is unemployment. The unemployment, the nexus between the unemployment situation and the economy cannot be disconnected. So 41% of the respondents say unemployment is their biggest concern. 38% say infrastructure roads. 33% say health, 28% say education, and also 25% of the respondents say the management of the economy is a big issue for them. And bear in mind, these five, these five problems captured in this Afrobarometer survey are the same that you will find in the NCC report and then also the Global Info Analytics. So there is some consistency when it comes to what is of major concern to the Ghanaian voter and what they're going to base on? What are the major five issues that would influence the Ghanaian voters' decision on December 7, some 37 days away from today? These unemployment, infrastructure, health, education, and, and the economy, the management of the economy. The only difference is that it is the rankings as to which one comes first, which one comes second, that you find a difference. Then the question was asked, where is this country headed towards the direction of the country the respondents say in fact 82 percent of them say that the country is headed in a wrong direction and 15 percent say the country is headed in the right direction that's a staggering 82 percent respondents saying this country is headed in their own direction and, it, and bear in mind and i'm going to show you what the, uh, the Global Info Analytics Survey also said, because the questions are quite similar in what was posed to the survey respondents of the Afrobarometer and also the Global Info Analytics poll, the direction of the country. That's the verdict of the people. And then also, 78% say, well, it's fairly bad. And then also, 17% say, you know, fairly good. The individual living conditions, 67% of the respondents say their conditions are not good. And 25% say it's fairly good, you know, and they, they can manage with it. That's not alone. So if you want to also understand how uh, this connects with all the others as well, take a look at this. This is the Global Info Analytics poll. The Global Info Analytics poll gives us a clear direction and indication of what the voters' choices will be. If elections were held between the 21st and the 26th of October, according to the Global Info Analytics poll, the respondents say they would give John Mahama 53.2% and Dr. Mahmoud Obamia 40%. That if it's been, and the poll was done within the period of 21st to the 26th of October, 2024. So if elections were held just four days ago, this would have been the outcome. And th this is the pulse of the people within this period. 53.2% for John Mahama, 40% for Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, and 1.5% for Alan Chumanting, and 4.7% for Nana Kwame Bediako. And the others were classified in there. Because bear in mind, technically right now we have 12 awaiting the decision of the Ghana Freedom Party 
whether or not they're going to field a candidate going into this election. So this is the pulse of the people. That's between the 21st and the 20, 26th of October. Afrobarometer also asked the question, which of the following candidates do you believe understands and cares for, for, for people? 51.8% of the respondents say John Mahama. 40.4% of the respondents say Dr. Mahmoud Obamia. That's the verdict of the people that they surveyed. And then the next question, which of the candidates can actually deliver in terms of the key issues? And bear in mind, this is the Afrobarometer survey and also the Global Info Analytics comparison. On the 18th of October, when the respondents of the Global Info Analytics survey were asked the same questions, what are the key problems, the key issues that would, you would consider as a voter going into the elections? Guess what? Economy was number one. You remember that per the Afrobarometer survey, economy was in there. Jobs. Jobs was number one for Afrobarometer survey. The respondents in Global Info Analytics, 68% of them say jobs. Education was in there as well. Roads, infrastructure, and healthcare you find expression in there as well, 21%. So the five key issues runs through at least all the three surveys that we have been looking at in the run-up to this election here on, on Ghana tonight. So it's fundamental, it's clear, it's straight to the point what the voters are concerned about and what they are going to be basing their decisions on who to vote for on. And that's the verdict you see there. On the 26th of October, this was it. It hasn't changed right from 18 to the 26th of October. Nothing has changed about the verdict and the key issues that would also influence voter choices. 78% the economy, 70% jobs, 46% of the respondents say education, 25% say roads, and 14% say it is healthcare. Now, the direction of the country. You recall that the Afrobarometer survey respondents said 82%, 82% of the respondents said that the country was headed in the wrong direction. And 14% said it was headed in the right direction. For the Global Info Analytics, this 20, as of 18th of October, the respondents, 64% of them said the country is headed in the wrong direction. And 28% said it was headed in the right direction. Fast forward to the 26th of October, guess what? 66% of the respondents say the country is headed in the wrong direction. 26% say the country is headed in the right direction. The 8% say they don't have an opinion on this particular question that was asked of them. So don't pay attention to one poll. If, if you want to be convinced, you would want to follow the trends of all the polls that have been done so far. NCC survey, Global Info Analytics, and then today, this by Afrobarometer survey. They all point to a direction. They tell a story. The, the consistency in the concerns of the Ghanaian voter, all of that captured in here, and their verdict on where the country is going. 37 days away from today, it's not too far away. We'll continue to test the pulse of the people through all of these details as we have it. But this is what the Global Info Analytics said in terms of the message and the outcome of the poll today. Certain government policies that are already running, you know, we wanted to find out whether people have, you know, really understood these policies, are they working for them? What should the future plans be for those particular policies? Only e levy that you see almost eight in ten Ghanaians saying that should be abolished. Otherwise, free SHS, which tops it all, planting and rearing for food and jobs, one district, one factory. One village, one dam, all are policies that Ghanaians say that the next government should retain. Now, in the last year, seven out of ten Ghanaians say someone in their household went without cash income and shortages of essentials like medical care, water, and even fuel have become all too familiar. Lived poverty is on the rise. Almost 82% of Ghanaians report feeling its effect more than double what it was years ago. Despite these challenges, some positives shine through. Nine in ten homes 
now have electricity, with 75% of those saying it's reliable. And while more than half of citizens approve of the government's job on education and power supply, they are not as pleased with health care, water and roads. Reflecting on the economic journey over the past year, the forecast from Afrobarometer isn't all sunny. A striking 66% say the country's economic conditions have worsened since last year. With a similar story for personal living conditions. But here's the crucial takeaway. Only 25% expect the economy to improve in the next year. Most remain skeptical. So, the message is clear. A call for economic stability, access to basic services and policies that truly work for the people. The message is clear. A call for economic stability, access to basic services and policies that truly work for the people. Noble Crosby and TV3 News, Accra. So that's what you find there. That's a verdict of the people on this matter. And a number of you also sharing your thoughts and comments and reactions to this Afrobarometer survey, juxtaposing it with the findings and the details in the Global Info Analytics and then also the NCC survey outcomes clearly point to a particular direction and the reactions of the people on this. You're still live here on Ghana tonight. We're live on 3FM 92.7 and also on TV3 Ghana on Facebook, DSV Channel 279, all across the world on 3news.com, 